Day 39, Honors Physics, Newton's Three Laws, problem number 49. Here's the basic diagram um, with the ramp or the hill at 10 degrees. There are four forces acting on the sled. We're looking at the sled right now or the toboggan in part A here only, not the child yet. Pulling the sled up the, um, the slope with the force of, I'm calling it F sub 1. Force of friction is restricting the motion the normal force, and the weight vector, which I've broken down into components. So there's the basic startup of every problem. I don't have to have the actual diagram right there, but I will need either that diagram or the component diagram at some point. I do need a diagram. And then the triangle at the bottom here is, is a little extra. I'd like to see that as well. Although I didn't show the work for this, this is perfectly okay. Just show me your little weight vector tri uh, triangle with your components of the weight, and then you can do the calculation off the side and just label those components. So, so far, so good. Now, actually, in Part A, we're pretty much done with Part A. Parts B and C will be the, a little bit more difficult. It says, what force must a child exert to pull the toboggan at constant speed? Once again, constant speed or constant velocity is always the nice situation where you have an F net of zero, so the force is balance. Um, so in this case, um, actually, I'm gonna, I will draw. Here's the drawing that I'm really most interested in. Let me draw this. So up here on top now I have the diagram. I have the weight broken into its, its two components. And I know those numerical values. W sub n is 113, so F sub n is 113. And W sub p, the parallel component to the ramp, is about 21 newtons. The next step would be to find the force of friction. And this is sliding right now, you're pulling it, but the general form for the force of friction is mu times the normal force. So the force of friction in this case, which is kinetic, so the kinetic frictional coefficient is 0.12 times the normal force, which is equal to the weight component perpendicular, that's the 113. So the force of friction is about 14 newtons. All right, so once again, there's an F net of zero. So up the ramp, F sub 1, F sub 1 has to equal the sum of the force of friction, F sub F, plus the parallel component of weight that's trying to bring the toboggan down the ramp. So it's a simple addition problem. F sub 1 must equal 14 plus uh, 21. So F1, the pulling force, is roughly 35 newtons up the ramp. All right, now once the child jumps on, well, sits on this toboggan, hopefully it starts to slide down the ramp. Uh, it's the same basic that, well, it's somewhat the same. There's no more force up the ramp once they jump on. Let me redraw the diagram. So it actually has changed a fair amount. You still have W sub n. You always have W sub n, W sub p, and F sub n. Those are always the same and always in those directions. But sometimes you have friction, like in this case. Now, friction, as the, as the toboggan is ready to slide down the ramp, now friction is up the ramp because the impending motion is down the ramp. And the weight components calculated the same way as down below are now different because now you have the student or the child on the toboggan as well. So I have to recalculate those. I can redraw that. So the weight vector now is roughly 470 newtons because you have 47 kilograms, 35 plus 12, gives you a total weight of 470 newtons. And then you have your components. That's a 10 degree angle right there. So I need to calculate W sub N and W sub P, which are now bigger than they were before. And I'll go do that and get back to you here. So I've calculated the components. I'm getting a little carried away with the sig figs. I want the three sig figs on the normal force and then two sig figs. I'm just staying consistent within the units digit so I can add and subtract forces. But bottom line is, that's okay, you can go to two or three sig figs. The normal force, well, we want to calculate the frictional force. 
this, the maximum frictional force because now we have static. So F sub F max is going to be the coefficient, which is 0.25 now, times the normal force, which is 463. So I calculate my maximum frictional force. Which turns out to be about 116 newtons. So I need, I need a force equal to or greater than that to get the sled to go down the hill. Well, W sub P right now is 82 newtons. So I have an 82 newton force trying to make the sled go down the hill. So if that's all we have, the frictional force would be 82. It would match it because we don't need more than that right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So to get the sled to, to go, we need to get up to 116 newtons down the hill. So we need an additional push. All we have to do is subtract. We take the 116 minus the 82, which is, what, 34 newtons? We need a 34 newton or more push to get the sled to go down the hill. Once it starts sliding, then we have kinetic friction. So we'll need to recalculate the, the kinetic friction. F sub F now is the 0 0.12 coefficient for kinetic times the 463. So once it starts to slide, my frictional force is 56 newtons. All right, so now we're going to apply F net equals MA. So down the ramp, the, the parallel component of the weight, the 82 newtons, is bigger than the force of friction, the kinetic friction at this point. So the F net is the big force, 82, minus the 56, equals the mass, which is 47, times the acceleration of this toboggan child system, sliding down the hill, speeding up as it goes down the hill. Solve that for A.